and joining us here on debate number one even as governor vidya sagar rao continues to look at the legal advice that he is getting on just which side to call or whether it should be a composite floor test on the floor of the tamil nadu assembly i'm joined by our rajagopalan senior journalist sanjay pinto advocate dr sesadri chari senior leader of the bjp abad ponta senior lawyer from mumbai mr venkatesh political analyst aryam sundaram america narayanan and c rajashekharan now mr aryam sundaram coming to you first just how many rounds of support letters are to be submitted to the governor because uh, edapati palani sami who is uh, the proxy to sasi kala now has submitted some 124 list of supporters to the governor just yesterday today once again the governor has called him to give his letters of support on the other hand opanir selvam the proxy of jailalitha as he claims himself to be uh, hasn't been able to furnish the letters so how long is this musical chairs which has been going on for the last 10 days is going to continue in the state of tamil nadu the question we are asking is did people of tamil nadu vote for an empty chair In fact I think the people of Tamil Nadu are actually very lucky that their governor has decided to uh, come to Chennai at all or to even be there to uh, for this time considering half the time he was uh, not in the state at all now the fact of the matter is the governor has delayed this inordinately in hindsight you can say yes the judgment came out and the judgment therefore the person who had been chief minister would have been removed and somebody else would have had to come in but the fact of the matter is it is the governor's duty to see that a stable government is formed as quickly as possible it's his duty to see that there is no empty chair it's his duty to see that this game of horse trading and uh, creating instability should not be done the longer you delay if any great leader of a party dies and there is an empty chair the longer you delay there'll be more and more rival claimants person a who on day 1 may have 130 supporters because of rival claimants on day b will have 125 120 you wait another 2 months you will find the whole equations change so the basic question is what is the role of the governor and you, as you put it the role of the governor is not to ensure that there is an empty chair the role of the governor is to fill that chair as quickly as possible what you should really do is that when somebody has produced these with well, one minute let me yeah. finish is that when somebody has produced these uh, uh, letters of support from the mlas and has been elected the leader by the major party then he should just call this gentleman to form the government and ask him to uh, meet the uh, to uh, meet the uh, confidence of the house as soon as possible by having a floor test and a confidence vote in a week's time or something like that but he yeah. should first fill the position yeah, of is it reasonable minister, defined and then ask the chief minister to but adima sundaram isn't the governor within the reasonable definition of 30 days as per the sarkaria commission so he's he's well within his rights well i don't know no, about uh, there is no reasonable in abstract because it's what it says reasonable in 30 days in be, one because case because a period can, of 30 sorry. days will be reasonable unless there is very urgent business to be transacted such as passing the budget in which case a shorter period may be indicated in special circumstances it may even exceed this period and go up to 60 days now that is the observation as far as the sarkaria commission recommendation 4.11.13 my question sir is had the governor not waited uh till till tuesday that is still yesterday we uh, we would have had tamil nadu would have seen uh, the ignominy or perhaps gone into the record books for dubious reasons two chief ministers going to jail for the same case that did not happen because the governor the decided to wait the matter is yes but the fact of the matter is that uh, if you see the judgment of the supreme court even the chief minister who was earlier occupying that chair was occupying that chair when an appeal was already pending in the supreme court hmm. and if the supreme court had found her guilty like the supreme court judgment did yesterday she would have had to demit that chair also the fact is what is the role of the governor at a time hmm. you talk about 30 days being a reasonable period i'm sorry i can never agree with that 30 days being a reasonable period in fact that is when you are unable to form a government and you take 30 days with the best of your efforts to try to form the government that 30 days is not to say i have 30 days to allow a government not to be formed let's put that in context the idea is it's impossible okay. to form dr. a government Sishadri nobody Chari. seems to have the support dr. nobody Sishadri has the support Chari. of the mlas i'm uh, therefore Mr. taking 30 days mr aryam sundram is very clear 
Mr. Aryama Sundram is very clear. The people of Tamil Nadu have not voted for an empty chair. So, 10 days of this musical chairs that's been going on in Chennai has to end at some point. Already, three rounds of submitting support letters has been done by the Sasikala camp. Whether it is Sasikala herself or whether it's her proxy, Edapati Palani Sami, they've done that. 129, 124, that's about the number that they seem to have. As far as O Paneer Selvam, who is the proxy of Jailalita and so he claims, uh, he is concerned, he hasn't been able to furnish any numbers. So Dr. Sesadri Chari, just how long are these letters of support going to continue to be asked? If there are any doubts, shouldn't that be tested on the floor of the house and an immediate test on the floor of the house be done, Dr. Sesadri Chari? You know, it is, it's very ironical that those who are asking about this question of whether the Tamil Nadu people voted for an empty chair and why, where is the governance and all those questions, they look very lofty. The whole of Tamil Nadu was brought to a standstill during the Jallikattu agitation. Nobody asked these questions. What happened to the governance at that time? Nothing happened. Nobody asked the questions. Now when suddenly all these issues have come up, we are asking the question to the governor. The governor, I think, he is in every right I don't see within the his parameters to when take as much time as he wants to minister. satisfy. I, I to satisfy to satisfy the satisfy all his queries. Now, to basically to begin with, this particular meeting which was held in the resort was it an official meeting of the AIADMK? Was any letter sent to all these MLAs to come and sit for a meeting? Who presided over the meeting? Where are the minutes of that meeting? Was it called under the purview of the constitution of the AIADMK? Then why the, per <laughs> the person who was removed from that meeting, he was not called for the meeting. Why? So is it a, is it a right meeting? Was the, was the rules of quorum observed? And what is the guarantee that tomorrow some other person like say, say Senko Ten or XYZ Somebody may not come up and say that I have got 100 names and these are the 100 names. What will happen to okay. the governor after two days? Will he again ask for another floor Can test? I just add one thing here? So the governor Can is within his right to satisfy, to satisfy and he can even talk to all the MLAs, he can call the MLAs, he can find out whether all the MLAs are there in but their long, proper Dr. place. Some Sishabhi of the MLAs Chari, are still in the resort. Yes, no but he is not doing the that. And then he is not himself. doing and, that. And that's the question point. many are asking. How long can he take to satisfy himself? America See, he, and he, he is, Do you think the governor still needs uh, legal advice? The governor, the the governor, the is, the governor is free to do all these things and the governor need not... No, the governor need no, not explain think, each and no, every action that he is taking. He no. need not come to the media. Yes. He need uh, not come to I? Times now and a, a so, sound as to no, what he is the doing. The governor, he governor need not people. come to the media, Mr. Chari. Mr. Chari, I have the floor. I hope you lead. Okay, first thing is that I have t my stand has been vindicated where the governor is procrastinating not the for the proxy of Sashi, but proxy of BJP. Now the BJP governor is trying to prop up the proxy of BJP, number one. Number two, his own, for example, we are talking about people of free will because they are in a golden resort. But former, none other than the former DGP has switched side. He went to OPS yesterday came back to he, he was not in the resort please understand that oh, so it's very clear that even a person to the cadre of former dgp who has not been in the resort mr american and so what if one person MLA goes not the people 114 so, are inside uh, one, mr. Who, why are you saying that to do not insult who is supposed to go to who authorized the who authorized by equating who authorized? Authorized? you are BJP supporting BJP that to the, 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 the governor authorize him bjp shows its face no to by why insulting, did the governor insult did the governor authorize the dgp to go and talk to the mls what nonsense are you talking why did the dgp go there and when Pani Selvam people, when people from Pani Selvam, America and Narayanan, 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 please, may I ask you a question, sir? 
Oh. Has the governor, did the governor yeah. by showing showing restraint or before uh, and delaying the decision until Tuesday, until the verdict, did he not do Tamil Nadu a favor? And is it wrong if he waited until Sashikala no. was inside governor, jail? Please, so I that if there was a case I of MLAs who were perhaps lodged Mr. inside Narasimha, the Golden Bay Resort Mr. under Narasimha, duress, governor, had the confidence to break ranks and perhaps governor, the true scenario could unfold. Is that wrong for the governor I to do when he is well within that. his rights to take his time? I am just asking you this well, question. Yeah, wouldn't you yes, want well wouldn't you want the real scenario to be presented to the people? I am asking you this. Governor is not at the pleasure of uh, American Narayanan. No, governor is not running for the popularity contest. The he is not at your beck and call. Governor, do governor de facto, the constitutional head is de facto in charge do. of the welfare of the and state. Sir, America and Narayanan is Narayana the welfare of the state and the intent of the people. Sir, yesterday you were pushing the governor to India, take a call to I'm install a chief minister. He would, if he had done that to Sasi Kala, the Supreme Court verdict would have completely brought about instability in Tamil Nadu. So what do you want the governor? Reasonable time as Anand read out in the Sarkaria Commission is set 30 days unless there is a pressing matter of a budget coming up or something like that that hasn't really happened so Sarkaria. why can't the governor take Sarkaria. his own time to satisfy himself America in Narayanan the, the governor can take his sweet time to do what he is supposed to do constitutionally Sarkaria Commission came he has done it. years back. He has done constitutional thing. Instant time. He did not do anything illegal. Everything is moving very fast. You can be quoting the 30 so, years, so, 40 so years. So you mean to say commission, Sarkaria Commission doesn't apply to this Tamil Nadu governor? He needs to act. Uh, Has there to be a separate Sarkaria Commission for Tamil Nadu? Prudently. He needs to act prudently in the changing world. In the digital You are saying world, he needs to act prudently and then you are saying why is he taking his the, own time? Hasn't he shown prudence by waiting? What is prudence? What is prudence? America and Narayana, are you aware of what? Has can you hear your own yes. argument, yes. sir? Is it prudence? Can, can you hear your own argument? Sanjay Pinto wants to come in. Sanjay Pinto wants to come in. Sanjay Pinto, is the governor taking adequate time? My question is only limited to the fact that there have been three rounds where letters of support have been submitted. The question, Sanjay Pinto, is if the governor is looking at whether MLAs are being held hostage at the Golden Bay Resort against their uh, will, then is he looking at the FIR that has been uh, registered in this case? Is he looking at all of those issues before actually taking the letters of support at face value? You, or is he likely to bring in once again the you know the uh, dual resolutions on the floor of the house for both sides to test parties the governor cannot be waiting to unite the party that's not his mandate Navika, since you started with the imagery of uh, uh, an empty chair, let me tell you that the governor was initially concerned about this uh, phenomenon of now you see it, now you don't. Swear in somebody today, the person is convicted tomorrow and then of course uh, they will be disqualified under the Representation of People Act. This governor, I believe, has adopted a calibrated approach. While there is no deadline under the constitution, as I've been saying repeatedly, he faced three challenges. One, uh, the prospect, which has turned out to be true, of a person taking claim to form the government, having a conviction. Secondly, the, the allegations of coercion and duress under which resignations were obtained. And thirdly, the stability. The governor takes oath and under his oath, under Article 159 of the constitution, his oath is to devote his time to the welfare of the people of the state. In many other states in the country, Navika and Anand, we have seen the, the mandate of the people not being in harmony with the arithmetic of the house. The people of Tamil Nadu have given a decisive mandate, 135 uh, seats to the AIADMK. Hmm. It's the job of the governor to ensure that there is stability. While I concede the point that the governor under the constitution cannot play private detective, neither does he have the resources to do that. Right. But if he is going to satisfy himself objectively hmm. that there is no foul play involved. Hmm. And as I've been saying along, let the MLAs set them free. No, but he can't, he can't be maintaining the, the fact that, you know, the entire, the, he can't be looking at motherhood statements like the entire AIADMK should remain united. That's 
that's not the job of the governor. The governor has to see which faction has the numbers. It's not about the it's not about the welfare of the ADMK as much as the welfare of the people. The people deserve a stable government. Yes. The people deserve a stable government, and the governor is not. So don't you think he exercised wrong by exercising caution? It's a reasonable time. But I wouldn't say he should take his own sweet time. You need to credit the governor that by exercising caution under the constitution is permissible. He looked after the interests of the people of Tamil Nadu, Sanjay Pinto, by exercising caution because the conviction happened. Sasikala Natarajan is in jail. Yes. Tamil Nadu did not want another chief minister in jail. And that has not happened. So, should yes. you credit the governor there? And what has he taken? He's he taken 30 hours. He's taken 30 hours mandate. after the verdict. M.R. Venkatesh, he's taken 30 hours That's after a, the verdict. That the election will decide. What will decide? America, yeah, we Narayanan, please first, first rethink your arguments yeah, because, sir, you said he should so exercise you prudence and then you said that he's delaying for purposely. I am going to MR Venkatesh for a second. MR, uh, MR Venkatesh, where do you stand on this entire aspect? Anand, Can you fault the governor? Anand, he's taken Anand, third. Raj Shekran coming to you after MR. After, Anand, after MR. Anand, Anand, what is wrong in what the governor is doing? He's doing Anand, exactly following the rule book. Anand, and within, within within hours of exactly. uh, of Sasikala Natarajan entering exactly. the Parapana Agrahara in Bengaluru, he's called the two claimants and asked them and met with them. Uh, Anand, last Monday Sasikala went to the governor with uh, support of around 130 MLAs. He took it, but obviously he must have had some information and the next day morning the Supreme Court was moved and the Supreme Court said we are going to deliver the verdict in a couple of days. So rightly, and on his side, it proves that he took the wise decision. Otherwise, he would have unseated a sitting chief minister by now. Now the whole situation again comes back. Since 10 10 p.m. Uh, 10 a.m. last uh, yesterday, and t from 10 a.m. till today, hmm. it's just 36 hours. And he has met all the people once again. The uh, the, the the cabinet formation in Tamil Nadu is being relooked at. And as far as Mr. American Narayanan is concerned, I must tell him that Mr. P. Chidambaram, no less a leader from Tamil Nadu and a former Home Minister has endorsed the stand of the governor and, that for the, and has said that there is nothing wrong in what the governor is doing. And three, the most important thing is that the governor has to allow the political process to play, it, uh, play itself. It has to be germinated. You cannot rush and just because somebody has got a number of 117 or 118 MLAs, you cannot rush him and swear him in only to find that once the MLAs are out of their captivity, that the, uh, the so-called support doesn't exist and on the floor of the house, the, the, the whole thing crumbles and the governor is left with egg on his face. We cannot be ridiculing the constitution just because somebody has brought a particular piece of paper and whose signature itself is under doubt. So the best thing around for the governor is first to impose, impose, uh, you know, keep the house under suspended animation. Let the let the MLS go but and MR, meet their people. But let MR, them, here's let the them thing: get the feedback of the people. No, let even them see even, what they even want, as you would want to credit the governor for hindsight, Rajeshikran. Probably do the right no, thing. There are issues. There are issues which the governor has, has to address, and one doesn't know. Who's controlling the bureaucracy? Who's got administrative control, Raj Chekran? Who is the chief secretary re reporting to and who's the chief secretary taking orders from? There are neat exams to be conducted. No, there that, is a that drought that situation that needs to be does. handled. No, no, there is a water dispute with Karnataka that. that needs to be resolved. Anand, there are multiple Anand, issues Anand. which which is the state cannot cannot go into paralysis. There cannot be nothing happening. And Tamil Nadu hand, hands, you know, Agree, but the, uh, the, hands the, in the suspended animation. Issues, House can be in suspended animation, sir. Tamil Nadu, Nadu cannot. And in case there is some emergency, yes. Mr. Raj Shekhar. And you cannot have BJP's proxy as a... No, it, it, it has been Anand, for the last four months. Yeah, Whether I you like it or not. It has been. It. Anand, Anand, Anand. Yes, Raj Shekhar. Anand, I want, I, want to ask, I want to ask five questions to you. Hmm. Point number one. Hmm. 124 is big or 10 is big? Hmm. Yeah, governor is for the people or for himself. Hmm. Is the governor is the go governor? We have got the best governor, most brilliant governor, intelligent governor. He is also Rajagopalan's version. He is also an advocate. Hmm. Is Mr. Arish Chalve wrong? Is Mr. Ari Arima Sundram wrong? Hmm. Is Mr. All the legal legal luminaries of the super honorable Supreme Court are wrong? Hmm. And I don't understand hmm. how these 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 people. 
take advice from whom? The Attorney General of India says... But Mr. Rajasekharan, you are forgetting a crucial point. No, 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 allow me, allow me. You are forgetting a crucial point, Mr. Rajasekharan, before I take it, Mr. Abad, Abad Ponda. Please allow me, please allow me. One minute, Mr. Rajasekharan. Let me ask you the question. An FIR of abduction has also been filed. The argument is that all this while, why hasn't anyone filed a complaint if the MLAs indeed had been abducted? Now that there is a complaint that has been filed, now a complaint has been filed. See, Earlier you said FIR there was no complaint, so why are you Come saying on, people Navika, are in captivity? Navika, now a complaint has been filed, Mr. Rajasekharan. Na, na, Navika, I am a practicing criminal lawyer and I, I know, I understand law better mm. than anybody who is practicing law. Because my day-to-day -day affair is <laughs> dealing with criminals and the lower level police. I know this FAR, how it was lodged. I mean, it's ridiculous to uh, uh, argue. Right, so you're a criminal lawyer. So let me get in, Mr. Abad Ponda. No, Mr. No, no, Abad no, Ponda, no, no, Mr. Abad Ponda, what in your no, no, view should me. the governor See, be doing? Chief, is is, is the, the governor, chief, has the governor the been right so far in waiting no, no, for the Supreme Court verdict by not pushing Tamil Nadu towards instability? I mean, what is this? One one minute, I Mr. Rajasekharan. Let me get in, Mr. Abad Ponda. Since you talked about legal luminaries, let's hear the uh, views of another legal luminary, Mr. Abad Ponda, who's a senior lawyer who's with us. Mr. Abad Ponda, do you think so far the governor of Tamil Nadu, C. Vidya Sagar Rao, has been absolutely circumspect? He's not allowed a governor, uh, uh, a chief minister to be sworn in, a chief minister who was facing uh, a verdict from the Supreme Court. And the way the verdict turned out, it in hindsight shows that the governor did take the right decision. But now, how long is Tamil Nadu going to wait for an empty chair to turn into a chair which has a chief minister on it? What is the reasonable time definition that the governor needs to follow? See, my, my view is very simple. Ultimately, the chief minister is a person who has to be sworn in by the government under the constitution. Mm. So they approached the governor for swearing in Sasikala, but the governor had reservations which now seem to be legitimate by virtue of the verdict of the Supreme Court which was delivered yesterday. Having said that, it appears that the governor waited for Ms. Sashikala to surrender tonight at around 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the evening, mm. post which he has invited both the uh, incumbent chief minister as well as the opposition party leader now, Mr. Palani Swami, to give their numbers and to point out who has got the strength in the house and the magical figure of 117 votes in the legislative assembly. Now, Tamil Nadu is facing severe crisis. Nobody will know this greater than the governor and the people. The drought situation, the problem in Marina because of the oil spill, the entire municipal corporation and other bodies are under private officers because they have lost their tenure in October and no elections are held after that. The matter is a grave, dire need of the hour to have a chief minister and persons to be appointed at the earliest, including the council of ministers who are appointed under the advice of the chief minister by the governor. Having said this, I am sure the governor realizes his responsibility and he will take all steps to do this at the earliest because ultimately the people who are suffering and it is democracy which is suffering by this time lag. The time lag seems legitimate because the governor seems to have shown a cold shoulder towards Sasikala and others for reasons which now seem to be legitimate hmm. and post her surrender, the governor seems to be acting one hopes that the reasonable period, which is not defined, will be quick in a manner that he calls the person who forms the magical figure of 117 to form the government right. and then take it from there. No, and there is this argument, Abad Punda, and I'm just going to bring back Raj Shekran. The argument which is also being made by those who are questioning the governor is that he's taken so much time even after the verdict. He did not take time, Raj Shekran. Sasikala Natarajan did. You said you you are you are well versed with no, the no, law. No, you said you are apparent. a criminal lawyer. No, you know my, my cases like this. Is so let, I hope you also read the judgment no, the which Supreme asked Sasikala Natarajan, which asked Sasikala Natarajan to surrender immediately. Twenty-eight to hours later forthwith. is immediately. Anand, see, forthwith. Anand, Having that doesn't do that, have any barring right. the governor to swear in Edapadi Palni Chami. 
who claims to who claims and no no so so the acts of a convict the acts of a convict escape you the acts of a convict escape you but what the governor is doing is a problem with you i don't understand this understand let us no no governor governor has to do his constitutional due obligation correct so what so sasikala natarajan didn't have an obligation he is an sasikala natarajan didn't have an obligation why did she take 28 hours why are you questioning the governor what is sasikala's obligation mr c rajashekharan what is sasikala's obligation mr c rajashekharan is sasikala's obligation to appoint ttv dinakaran is she the rightful owner of the legacy of jailalita if she appoints those who had been thrown own out by jailalita from the party is that the obligation that sasikala is following is she going to put a, a proxy raj both in the government through uh, edapati palani sami and a party through ttv dinakaran also these are questions of whether the party in its uh, constitution is in a position to make such appointments these are also issues that have been raised by the ops uh, 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 like camp to the, to the governor of the all of these questions could be challenged in courts tomorrow so doesn't the governor have to look at these issues uh, mr uh, uh, rajashekharan navika first and foremost let us navika, understand point, the I? constitution and hmm. the governor see don't drag the Am party after this? the appointments made as nothing to do with the due the governor's duty hmm. and his obligation you, towards the constitution Raj, sir, what governor are the duty of the mlas who are sitting and enjoying a holiday the in the golden bay resort no why aren't you asking no, questions about those no, mlas they were elected to do work for the people of tamil nadu not enjoy see, a holiday see, for the last 10 see, days why are they sitting there and enjoying a holiday there the let them tamil come tamil back and work to their constituencies and serve their respective ministries you don't have a problem with that rajshekran let me ask you this You had five questions Anand, to start Anand, with. I have got one question Anand to ask you. Amika. When in Tamil Nadu politics have you seen okay, 119 okay, me, plus MLAs answer. being herded in a bus and answer. being lodged in three different resorts and three different and, and guarded by goons? How is that constitutional? The governor should not look at what Anand. is happening. M R Venkatesh. See, Raj Shekharan will not answer that question. See. Suddenly, the Anand criminal see. lawyer forgets uh, uh, what criminal no, acts no, no, of criminality are happening there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Pasna, no, you ask me a question. Allow me to rebut. You exactly. jump to M R Venkatesh no, because M R Venkatesh will give an answer. What Raj do you like, Raj? M R. Raj. No, no. M R. M R. Raj Shekharan can laugh no, it off. No, no, no. Raj Shekharan can laugh it off, but let M R answer and then Raj Shekharan. I'll give you time to think about the rebut. Because right now all you can think is a fake laugh. Yes. Yes, M R. Rajesh Rajesh Kumar listen 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 Rajesh Kumar Rajesh Kumar will support uh, OPS on odd days and withdraw his support on even days so he cannot expect one cannot expect no, the no, government to be not. like that governor has to take a very calibrated view of the things he is a traitor of ADMK i never supported no, no, you Rajesh Kumar you Raj did when Jayalalitha appointed him chief minister no, no, Raj okay Raj let's Raj talk yes yes you are the person no no that is when i supported Rajesh Kumar you have joined you yes let ever complete let ever complete party in tamil nadu You have joined every political party in Tamil Nadu. You do not have to speak about loyalty. At least the least of that you can. Are no, are Rajeshwar? You have been in all political parties. So you keep quiet. So you don't have to talk about loyalty. Yeah, let's go back to the debate. Let's not get personal here. Loyalty is alien to you. Please keep quiet. Now listen. Let's get back to the debate. No personal comments, please. Yes. Let's get back to the debate. Are Rajeshwar? Listen. Rajeshwar, let him ask me. Rajeshwar, you cannot. You cannot expect. You cannot expect. Okay, Mr. Rajeshwar and Mr. M R Venkatesh. Mr. Rajeshwar and Mr. M R Venkatesh. Mr. Rajeshwar and M R Venkatesh. I'll have to intervene here. I'll have to intervene here. Let's not on this panel make personal comments on each other. M R Venkatesh and Mr. Rajeshwar. Mr. Rajeshwar, you will, you have been given and you will be given adequate time to respond to every statement. But you cannot hijack the debate and not allow anybody else to speak, Mr. Rajeshwar. Even as I am speaking, as even as I am intervening, Mr. Rajeshwar, you are continuing to speak. The question here is, what is the reasonable time for the governor? The The question here is: Has the governor to ensure that all MLAs who are standing and Ramika. pledging their support uh, to the Palani uh, Sami camp are doing so of their free will? In fact, 
the question mr rajashekharan yesterday that was raised by the union exactly, law minister mr ravi shankar prasad exactly, on the news are itself Navita. was the big question was the big question on why o paneer selvam no, did not go as per convention and hand over personally his resignation to the governor in all other cases whether you resign from the membership of the lok sabha of the rajya sabha of the prime ministership of the chief ministership you are supposed to personally go and hand over your resignation the fact that this wasn't done isn't that something that later paneer selvam said was done under duress also something that the governor has to seek legal navika. advice on navika there is a question navika if if paneer selvam was navika there is a question uh, to the signature was there is a question to somebody from your panel the chief minister of tamil nadu people no, no. one no, minute no. dr seshadri chari uh, is making a comment navika. on tamil nadu navika i have a question yes dr seshadri chari no no, no. I, i i i only have a question to I only have a question to anybody from the panel who can represent the AIADMK. I don't see any representative from the party, but I'm just asking: the meeting in which the Palani Swami was chosen as the chief ministerial candidate, and 120 or 118 people or whoever it is, they supported him. The same meeting also expelled Mr. Paneer Selvam, who is the sitting chief minister of Tamil Nadu. Now, is it valid? That is the question. now what happens to that person Illegal. who not is valid. the chief minister Illegal. who is an ada ai adm ke chief minister answer that question mr rajesh who is not Shekharan, even a member who is not even a member he has been expelled answer that question expelled. mr rajesh shekharan was that decision valid is it legal is that something that the governor has to question or not navika see i i'll make it i have been categorically making this point i want to say again i have i am not the member of admk neither the spokesperson of admk but i want to make one thing clear is it a crime in supporting uh, the law the person who goes by the law so, who abides the law so who understands us, constitution so what in your see, esteem in your learned opinion mr rajasekharan see is sir, it a crime is it a crime to go by question, the constitution sir, can you answer this question is it a question? crime to follow the rule Chari, is it a crime to Dr. obey Chari, the law question rajasekharan you people are talking Raja i don't Shekran. understand answer the question no be, being a law abiding citizen is a crime in this country rajasekharan i mean what is your understanding sir please understand come on answer the question you in your learned opinion let me ask you this in your learned opinion what do you what is the is answer to no, dr chari's question people are projecting a law abiding citizen what is, is the answer to dr chari's question according it? to you sir in that in that meeting sir, where they sir, elected palani sami as the leader of the legislative party and the chief minister real candidate they also sacked o paneer selvam as chief minister and also from the primary membership of the party question is is that Anand, legal see, is we, that tenable exactly. should the governor consider that what do you think see anand the party is different from the the activity what they are doing now admk party is different the ele the election the uh, the for the leader Why by the legislative case, assembly members that case, of admk Palani is Swami different selection is see, correct you, or not you, you cannot answer this see the mls the majority mls no, 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 have no, no, elected no, no. palni sami if that is they wrong this is also wrong no they are to <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's no, let's no, throw no, this question over. No, let's take that Avika, question let's to the legal eagles on the panel. Let's take that question to the legal eagles on the panel. Let's take a quick round of listening to the legal eagles on the panel. Let's take a quick round of responses on the legal position on that. First, to you, Mr. Arima Sundram. Mr. Arima Sundram, do you think Palani Sami in the meeting that was decided to make Palani Sami as the leader of the legislative party, and the same particular meeting also decided to expel the sitting chief minister of uh, tamil nadu are both these decisions within the constitution of the aia dmk given the fact that there was no general council meeting there was no primary general council meeting which took these decisions and uh, you know if if that's not legal then uh, how can the governor look at anything else that has been done in that particular meeting as legal uh i i think the entire error in all this arises because we are mixing up issues which are really don't go together let me explain very very simply so far as the chief minister's appointment is concerned the chief minister is the leader of the majority party mm -hmm. so the legislators 
who have been duly appointed whether they do it in a meeting of the legislators or all the legislators give a letter and this whether they have a formally convened meeting or an informal meeting if all the legislators of the majority party or a sufficient majority of them support a person and say you are our leader and we support so and so to be chief minister and that is given to the governor the governor looks at that as to whether a party has acted itself constitutionally in expelling somebody or dealings with somebody is a complete intra party matter which will be resolved in proceedings which are either before the uh, competent civil jurisdiction or the election commission or wherever it is but this is not a matter for the governor to decide on the governor decides who commands the majority support of the legislators of his party and this is where there is a very sad dichotomy or i don't say sad but it's a real dichotomy in india in that we do not really look after the elections are over we the people of the state have nothing to do with the selection of the chief minister you don't go to uh, for the referendum to the people of the state or the rank and file of the party or the party organization to choose the chief minister the duty of the choosing the chief minister is among the legislators Mr. Mr. who Arima choose Sutram, the please allow me to finish don't shout every time i'm with you you keep shouting persons. i think you should really Mr. wait Arima, till i finish you every time i'm with you you keep shouting i, think I find it very difficult i don't think i should comment any further please go on you love shouting please continue Please continue shouting since no, you, you enjoy it so much. But talking. I can't participate in that you kind of thing. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Let me get Every in. Every party has a constitution. Every political party has a rules and regulation. If they overcome that, how Panir Selvam was sacked? You answer that, Mr. Arima Masundram. I do not think you heard me at all. Perhaps because you had something to say, so I fully appreciate what you have to say. the point i'm making is for the governor to decide who should be the chief minister what he looks at is who has the command of the support of the maximum or the majority of the legislators mm. as to whether a party has behaved rightly or wrongly in sacking or reinstating anybody is not an issue for the governor to consider when deciding but, but you would appreciate mr sundaram support of the legislators but you would appreciate one mr sundaram that that, that the governor's decision one the governor's decision if taken in haste sorry mr rajgopalan i'm just making an intervention sorry sir. i can't hear you sir, mr Mr. Sundaram, if the if the if the governor if the governor's decision yes. is taken in haste, can set another churn of legal battle uh, and wrangling in the courts, and that could further put the state in in a state of limbo, or or sust suspended animation, create another Look, political crisis. Can I so can should, I answer you straight away? Yes, and shouldn't he consider that even though it does you not know, fall under are, his purview? You know, you are absolutely correct. you are absolutely incorrect that uh, everybody expects a governor to behave circumspectly but what you are really not uh, doing is to isolate the two the governor's job is to choose, choose a chief minister mm. if there's an infighting within a party where the constitution of the party is not being followed this has nothing to do with the choice of the legislators of who they decide to promote as the Doesn't chief ministerial candidate Doesn't this it have and let me get in about Ponda on this one this Mr Ponda possibly illegal doesn't the intra party fighting issues, have an impact totally on who will be selected as the chief is. minister simply simply because if the constitution is not being followed within the party that could land up in courts it could be challenged by the other faction of the party ah. and if But that will have nothing to do with the choice it, of chief once minister once again will it not put a question mark over the candidate who has been selected for the chief ministerial position is that also something that the governor will need to keep an eye on not at all In fact the governor will only have to see who has the support of the majority and whether it's a real support that's his job Mr Ponda Yes Yes I, I, I don't know if you this. heard my question my question my My question was Mr Ponda if there is intra party infighting and one one faction of the party challenges the other faction on the decisions that, that have been taken which do not follow the constitution of the party itself 
then in a situation like this where the government formation itself is at stake in a situation like this will the governor not have to keep an eye on whether the party's constitution is being followed whether the faction that is taking claim to become the chief minister is the real faction of the political party or is the other uh, side which is claiming to be the real uh, uh, party uh, is that the uh, party which has to be looked at on these issues that the governor will have to look at closely The governor, according to me, has to see numbers and has hmm. to see support. Hmm. Once you reach the figure of 117 in the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly, the governor necessarily must invite the person who's got the support of 117 and more to form the government. Right. All Absolutely. conflicts, inter-party and infighting in the same, would be within the domain of the other competent courts of law, but it will not be within the jurisdiction of the governor to decide whether the constitution of a given party is complied with or not. He is no. concerned plain and simple with numbers. Once so, you achieve the list of numbers required, that is the 117 plus votes, hmm. the candidate who has the support of the AIDMK, if they get that support, will be sworn in as chief minister by the government. Sir, that is, that is as and incidentally, as if you look I must tell it, you Mr. that Ponda. the governor's decision is not a decision which is only mathematically. Hmm. Yeah, yes, please complete. Yes. It's not just mathematics. It's not just. It's black not and just white. to be calculated mathematically. You'll also have to see that these people are not. No, but it's not just black and white because he'll have to see whether, in fact, there is such a support, or it's a support which is as a result of undue influence or some kind of coercion. He'll have to look into that and see whether ultimately the support is free, and therefore he's probably taking his time. Therefore he's probably taking his time to see. No, that this is not just. So here just is the case. Now here is the case. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm just saying, here is a scenario where Palani Sami has come out and Absolutely. shown the support of 124 now, MLAs. He comes out and claims that he should form the government and the, go and, and the governor says, all right, you come and flew your majority on the floor. Just as he says this, and, and he pronounces Friday as the date for the floor test. On Thursday, somebody yes. goes out and challenges it in the courts on the grounds that this appointment of Palani Sami has come under the ages of the interim general secretary of the AIADMK. <laughs> And the AIADMK constitution I I does not have a provision for an interim general no, 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 secretary no. in the he, first place. It can so be, any, can only any or every decision taken by, by an interim leader. general secretary not thus is void ab initio, sir. If that is the argument that is kept, sorry. If, the, if that's the, the argument that is placed, then what happens, sir? The then isn't the governor then? Not by party then, then, members. Then what? It no, Mr. Sundaram, then yeah, won't we be the first people to turn around and ask Governor Vidya Sagar Rao, Sir, why didn't you anticipate this? Why won't you circumspect enough to think about this? Anand, if I may come in, please. Yes, Sanjay. Anand, Anand, I owe no allegiance to Party A or B. My allegiance as a lawyer is to the Constitution of India. Hmm. Now, I would like to say that as far as the Constitution of the IDMK is concerned, which is uploaded on the Election Commission of India website, last updated on the 5th of February 2007, under Rule 20, Clause 2, hmm. the General Secretary should be elected by the primary members of all party units of Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, exactly, Kerala, sir. Andamans. Has this happened? A. No, B, it exactly under that Rule 20, happened. Clause 5, that they should have to contest, you need to be a member that is what of, I for five saying. years without a break. Under Rule 43, the, the, the General Secretary has the power to frame rules, amend them, delete rules, but the rule that the General Secretary should be elected by all primary members cannot be changed, and this forms the basic structure of the party. The question before us is whether this is fruits of a poison, these are fruits of a poisonous tree. Simple submission. Can I okay, ask one question so, so Raj, of, Mr. Rajagopalan, uh, uh, if, if that is the constitution uh, can I just of ask him the one question? AIATMK, do you... Yes, Mr. Arima Sundram, go on. Can I just ask one question? The only question I have is, you are absolutely correct. The General Secretary has to be elected as per the uh, norms of the party, the constitution of the party. If the General Secretary is wrongly elected, then the General Secretary has to go. But... The chief minister candidate is not to be chosen by the general secretary, but has to be supported by a majority of the legislators. So if the majority of the legislators chooses a chief ministerial candidate, the fact that the general secretary was chosen against the constitution or the general secretary and others acted against would not have any bearing 
on the candidate who they are putting forward as the chief minister yes. and the governor yes. has to find that candidate where that candidate in if i may answer my learned yeah, senior there it is interlinked i'll tell you why it has a bearing it is for instance it all it all boils down to numbers if you're going to expel somebody in a manner that militates against provisions okay. of the party constitution and what rule 35 clause 6 talks about a charge sheet being given and an explanation sought by the member sought to uh, against whom disciplinary exactly. action is sought to be no taken no show cause notice for lowering the prestige of the party so if you wrongfully if you wrongfully expel expel members then of course there's an issue which will taint numbers whether the numbers will be that's factual, right but so uh, far will, will why has the police selvam camp why has the paneer selvam camp not challenged this in a court of law what are they waiting out. for no, when to be fair, you know are these intra party issues the also are, something that's both, delaying both the decision the on the part the of the governor is decision. he looking at the le legal the book on the points of law on these entire both, issues both which have been raised by the ops camp to the governor but at the end of the day what's the big weight meant for is it meant for a stable government and in this uh, state formation of a stable government just how long is the reasonable frame of time that we are looking at how long will the governor uh, take to appoint a chief minister and ask him to flow uh, give a floor test and prove his majority on the floor of the house because that is the ultimate test as per the bomai judgment how long will the governor take and in the meanwhile have people in tamil nadu voted for an empty chair that's the big question thanks very much to all our panelists for joining anand and me on debate number 1 here on the news are tonight